This is the first video on inequations. The first thing we should do is look at the inequation signs. So there are four of them. Now, this is the less than sign because it looks like a squashed L. There we have the nail, and that's a squashed L for less than. This is less than or equal to. This is the greater than sign. And this is greater than. Or equal to. Now, first equation, first inequation, first example. X plus 2 is greater than or equal to 4. All the techniques that we learned when solving equations we can apply to any equations. So, what I want to do is to leave the x on its own. I want to get rid of a plus 2, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And x is greater than or equal to, you'll notice the inequation sign doesn't change. 40 equal to is 2. Example 2, we could make it a bit more complicated. 3x minus 4 is less than 8. Now, what we want to do is to leave this term here, that's the letter term, it's on its own. We want to get rid of the minus 4. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. 3x then is less than 8 plus 4 is 12. Now we can't leave it like that because we want x. We want to divide by 3. x then is less than 12 over 3. And x is less than 4. We make things a bit more complicated. Here we've got 5x plus 2 is greater than 3x. Now, problems. Problems here. We've got two letter terms and one number term. What we should do first of all is gather together the two number the two two letter terms. Um, we've got 5x on the left hand side, 3x on the right hand side, so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. 5x take away 3x is 2x. The 2 stays where it is. The inequation sign doesn't change. And 3x take away 3x is 0. What I want to do now is to get rid of the plus 2. I want to leave the 2x on its own. Two x is greater than minus two. The last thing to do is to divide by two. X is greater than minus two over two, and X is greater than minus one. Example four and the last example for this lesson: one third of X minus five is less than or equal to two. Now we've got a fraction to deal with, but before we can deal with the fraction, we want to get the X term on its own. So I'm going to add. 5 to both sides. Two, that gives me a 7 and 1 third of x. Now, how do I get rid of a dividing 3? I'm going to multiply by 3. The inequation sign does not change, so it's 3 times 7 then, and x is less than or equal to 21. So the last thing then. Page 141, 142 of your textbooks, exercise 12.5, questions 1 to 3 as best you can.